Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create this kind of effect, adding multiple animations to your character. Okay. All the animations found on Mixamo, and I'm going to show you how you can import multiple animations to Spark AR. So we have this example here, and also this one, that is a character I found on Mixamo, and I'm going to use during this tutorial. Okay. So let's get started. First, let's go to Mixamo website. And here, there are many options of characters you can choose. In my case, I'm going to choose this one. And after you choose your character, you can come here to animations. And now you can choose between different animations here. I'm going to try to download at least five animations to use in our example here. And I'm going to select um, dance it's the funniest one okay so there is this one i really like this one this, that's the twerk <laughs> it's really funny so it's gonna be the first one we're gonna download so you can just press here on download in this first one i'm gonna choose with skin that's the the mesh the body okay so let's download and the next ones we're gonna download without skin. So I'm gonna save this first one. Let me choose another one. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one as well. And in this case, as I told you, let's choose without skin. So we're gonna download only the bones. So download, save, and I'm gonna choose three more. I like to pick the ones where the character comes back to the same place in the beginning. So the animation feels like it will never end, okay? I'm gonna pick this one as well. I already tried, I think around 15 on a Spark AR. You can bring as many animations as you like, as long as it doesn't reach the four megabytes of limit. So one more, this one here, and this chicken dance, okay. So let's unload it. And now that we have all the animations we need, let's go to Blender. I'm going to delete everything here in our scene and let's import our FBX file. So I'm going to import all of them at once. So all these five here, the chicken dance, dancing, dancing to work, and the twist dance. Okay. And we already imported all of them. And when we import one asset that already has animation on it, we can delete. Okay. We can delete our asset and the animation gonna remain on blender i'm just separating here the skeletons so you can see all of them x each of them has one animation but we're gonna delete all these four here let's delete so we're gonna have only one armature that's the armature with the skin. And I'm going to show you that the, all the animations are still here on Blender. So I'm going to just pick the Blender file option. And if we choose actions, you're going to see all the actions here. Each action is one animation. Okay. So if you want to test each animation, we have to go here to um, Dope Sheet. And I'm going to choose action editor and in this menu here we're gonna pick which animation you want to try so, so so first select the armature in this case it already came with that first animation we chose that's the that's the twerk okay so you can rename it so it's gonna be easier to find it on spark ar so i'm gonna rename it here so now let's pick another animation I don't know which kind of dance is that. Like, 
arms, arms shaking it all. <laughs> and let's pick another one. That's the hip hop dance, right? Hip hop. And what's the next one? That's twist, right? So twist. And the last one I think is the chicken dance. Yeah, there's the chicken dance. So chicken. So it doesn't matter which animation you're gonna leave it here in your armature, because when we, when we export our asset, all the animations gonna go to Spark AR. So select both the armature and the body. And just to make sure, let me see how many vertices this body has. Let's, oops, Spark AR tool. It has 14,000 triangles. So we're fine. I think the limit is 40,000. So select everything, file, export, FBX. And here we're gonna pick selected objects only. Gonna name it here to dancing lady, dancing lady. Let's export. And now let's go to Spark AR. So I open a new blink project here on Spark AR. And I'm gonna drag our dancing lady here to the assets panel. While it's loading, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment in the video, okay? We already have our dancing lady here. Actually, let's open with using the template. It's going to be easier. Let's use the world template. This one here, world object template. Okay. Because it already comes with the blank tracker and with all the controllers where you can adjust the size and the position of your character. So let's open this template. It's going to be easier. So now let's drag again our dancing lady here to the assets panel. And we can just replace here where it says delete me. Okay. We're going to drag here our dancing lady. And let's delete where it says delete me. Here we have our dancing lady already here. Let's stop this spinning. So select here looping animation block and uncheck this option. Okay. And let's resize this lady. Until she's like around this size here. And now let's put our animation. So for each animation, you're going to need a different controller. So let's create here uh, one animation playback controller for each animation. Okay. So the first one is going to be the work. I'm going to duplicate and rename the second one to picking. Duplicate and it's going to be the hip hop. Let's duplicate and what's the other one? <laughs> Do you remember? Let's see here. Inside the dancing lady, we have all the animations. It's twist and arms shaking. So twist. and arms and now let's add the animation to each of these controllers so let's select select the twerk first and here in animation clip we're going to choose the animation that comes inside our asset so first one is the twerk okay here you can change you can change the speed you can choose if you want to play it in loop. You can trim as well the animation if you want it to be shorter. But let's leave it like the way it came here. Uh -uh. Now the chicken. Chicken dance. Hip hop. 
twist and the arms shaking and now I want to add a logic where each time I tap the screen uh, she's gonna change the choreography okay she's gonna dance a different dance so to do this let's choose one option picker option picker the type of this option picker is going to be animation data and now let's drag all our controllers to the patch editor let's connect them let's add one counter patch Outer. this one here that's gonna count from 0 to 4 so it's gonna be 5 different options so connect it here and let's add one screen tap screen tap patch and connect here to the increase input in the counter patch so now every time I tap the screen this number is going to increase and it's going to change the option of animation we chose here so now let's select here our dancing lady and when we select the 3d object that has one animation you can come here to the inspector and here in animation click in this little arrow And here let's connect the output of our option picker to the animation. Okay. And automatically it's gonna pick the first option because it is it is a zero here. Okay. So if I tap the screen, it changes it to the chicken dance. If I tap again, it changes it to the hip hop. Okay. And so on. As you can see here it's working fine. And the effect is done. If you need to import the texture from Blender, you have to go here in the shading options. Okay. You select your character, go to shading. And here you can select the files. Okay. With the UV map. And you come here to image and save as. Then you're going to save your texture. That's the diffuse texture. If you want, you can also select the normal map and export as well. Let's save it and just drag those textures here. You can see inside your 3D asset that there is this material here called Maria <laughs> in my case. And let's select physically based. And let's add our texture we saved, Maria Diffuse, and the normal texture, Maria Normal. And it didn't apply to the right side. Uh, let me see why, select the texture. Oh, and here in the tiling, mo tiling mode, let's select Repeat, okay? Then I think it's gonna work fine. And here we have our complete character dancing with different choreographies, okay? So as long as your character has bones, you can bring it to Mixamo and add any kind of animation you want. Recently, I uploaded this filter here that uses the same logic, okay? I just tap to change the animation of this little alien all animations I found on Mixamo and I also added one shadow here a realistic shadow that makes your effect more real okay so if you are interested in knowing how to create this kind of shadow effect please comment in the video then I can make a tutorial about it okay so guys if you like this tutorial don't forget to give a like in the video subscribe to the channel and comment as well okay so see you next time bye